Hey guys, welcome to Travel Feels. Today we're gonna to talk about the secret to becoming a travel filmmaker. So some of you may have heard some of my story. I talked a little bit about it a couple videos ago, but basically I went to kinesiology university for a couple years. Um, I wanted to become a doctor. Um, instead, I ended up going to Bible college for a couple years after that. Actually, the only degree I have right now is a bachelor's in theology. Can you believe it? I was a youth pastor for a year at a church and somehow through that whole process, I ended up becoming a filmmaker. I also talked about closing that gap. How do you get from being a beginner with a good eye to being a professional who can actually make those good creative things? So the question is, how can you become a travel filmmaker? What's the secret? First off, let's drop the word travel. Let's just talk about how do you become a filmmaker? I think one of the biggest mistakes you can make in the beginning of your career is limiting yourself to only one type of filmmaking. Some people say that, oh, I only shoot music videos or I only do travel films or whatever it is. Um, don't limit yourself, stay open, learn from every project and take every opportunity that comes your way in the beginning. Whether you're getting paid for it or not, just take all those experiences and learn from them. Don't turn down projects just because it's not something you wanna be doing 10 years down the road. Take all those things, learn from them. So really we're asking the question of how do you become a filmmaker? And it's actually really simple. All you have to do is just decide. Just decide and start doing it. Learn, make, and repeat. The internet is full of tutorials and courses and all sorts of learning resources. And cameras are super cheap nowadays. You probably even have one in your pocket or in your hands right now. So there's no excuses really. But when people ask me, how do you become a travel filmmaker? What they're really asking is, how do I become a professional? How do I make money from filmmaking? How can I be like that guy or that girl? How do I make films like that person? Or how do I make films that I'm gonna be super crazy proud about? The problem is that you're focused on the destination when you should be fixed on the process. The process is what's gonna get you there. The process is what's gonna make you a filmmaker. The process is your answer to becoming a filmmaker. And you know what the process is. It's learn, make, repeat. It's years of hard work, lots of learning, and just doing. Tons of people call themselves filmmakers and that is the first step to becoming a filmmaker but that's usually where it stops. They get so focused on the destination of becoming that person or that filmmaker that they forget about the things that they could be doing right now to become a filmmaker. It's comments like, I can't wait till I'm filming this or that, or I'm on this project or that project, or I can't wait till I have this camera, or I can't wait till I have this big audience to make films for. Those are what's slowing you down. Don't focus on the destination, focus on the process. Just make it happen, make anything happen right now, today. Instead of focusing on the future filmmaker you, focus on the filmmaker you are today. How can you get better? How can you learn something? Who can you work with that'll make you better? And don't think of these big names, just think about whoever's around you, somebody who has a camera, somebody who's interested in photography or filmmaking, work with them, learn from them, learn with them. What can you do right now? That's the process. So why am I talking about this? Well, yesterday while I was watching TV, I had this realization. 
I have a goal of making it to 100K subs by the end of this year. That's my goal. And I've been super fixated on that. I've been thinking, I can't wait till I have that 100,000 subscribers. And I've just been focusing on that. And right now I have 42,000 subscribers and I realized that I'm never gonna have 42,000 subscribers again. This is the only time in history that I'm gonna have 42,000 subscribers. So why am I not happy with 42,000 already? Just a couple months ago, I was only at 2,000, 3,000, and now I'm at 42,000. Why am I not happy and just enjoying this moment right now and focusing on becoming a better filmmaker instead of just thinking about, oh, I can't wait till I'm at 100,000. So here it is, the biggest secret to becoming a filmmaker. You have to enjoy the process. Enjoy the process and not just the destination. Because I guarantee you if you enjoy the process, you will learn and make and keep doing things. It's just automatic. If you love something, you're gonna keep doing those things. You don't need somebody else to tell you that you should be doing this or that. You're just gonna do it because you're enjoying the process. And the truth is, if you don't enjoy the process, you're never gonna enjoy the destination. You're always gonna have another destination that you're looking to, hoping and wishing that you were at this level or the next level and next level. It just keeps going on and on and on. And unless you enjoy the process of actually getting to those destinations, you're never gonna enjoy anything at all. If you don't enjoy the process, you're never gonna enjoy the destination. And that's because there's always the next destination. The secret is that the process is the best part. So learn to enjoy it. If you learn to enjoy it, you will become an amazing filmmaker because you love it. And you're gonna do everything every day that you can to become a better filmmaker. And it's really easy to think that, well, I'll enjoy the process once I'm at this destination or that one, but that's actually not true. It's really easy to look at other people and say, well, oh, you've been to all those cool places. Like it's easy for you to enjoy the process, but that logic doesn't actually work. It doesn't matter how cool the project or how cool the travels look. It doesn't actually mean that those people are enjoying it. So I decided I'm gonna start enjoying every stage of this process, whether I have 42,000 subscribers or a million subscribers. I'm gonna enjoy every day of the process, learning and making. Sometimes I'm making stuff that I love, sometimes I'm making stuff that I just have to make because it's work. But I'm gonna enjoy that process and I'm gonna learn from those experiences every day so I can become a better filmmaker. And how do you start enjoying the process? Well, I think it's pretty simple. I think you just have to be super grateful and keep reminding yourself why you're doing what you're doing. A lot of people start from this pure love of the filmmaking, but then they kind of forget that along the way and they get caught up on all these destinations that they're trying to get to. And then that's when the process isn't fun anymore. So keep reminding yourself why you started in the first place and just be grateful for all the opportunities that you do have. Be grateful for the camera that you do have. Be grateful for the next project you have coming up. Be grateful for a shoot day or something that you get to edit or anything that you get to make. It has to be a conscious decision to start enjoying the process. Otherwise, you'll just get caught up in all those things, all those places that you wish you were, or all those people that you wish you were. So start enjoying the process. Whether you're just beginning and you're thinking about becoming a filmmaker, or you've made some of your first films and you just think they suck, or you're doing really amazing work, just enjoy the process wherever you are. If you enjoy the process now, you're gonna enjoy the destinations too. And that's what's most key. Otherwise, those destinations will just take over in your head and you just won't enjoy filmmaking anymore and you won't be learning as much because you're not enjoying it. And this applies to life in general. If you don't learn to enjoy the process, you're always gonna be wishing and wanting and missing out on your life as it goes by. Because the truth is we never arrive at our destinations and the process just continues and continues. And that's not a bad thing as long as you know how to enjoy it. So I hope this inspires you to keep filmmaking or even taking that first step of calling yourself a filmmaker and start to learn, make, and repeat. But remember to enjoy it while you're doing it. Otherwise, there's no point in becoming a filmmaker if you're not gonna try to enjoy every single day of it. That's it for me today, guys. Enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels.